Hello everyone, welcome back today. We are checking out Ren Zoto's new original song, Casket. Now, I'm excited about this. All of Ren's songs have been super, super fun. And I'm excited to see what this new one is like. So I'm ready to jump in. I hope you all are as well. Let's hit play in 3, 2, 1, play. Oh, and it did say there was a warning for flashing lights if you missed that. So if you have any photosensitivity, just be aware of that. Oh, okay. Mm. Okay, so just from this introduction, we can already tell we're focusing. It, it, I feel like in some of uh, Ren's past songs, we tend to have the instrumentation cover the bass tones, and then he covers that mid tone and then shoots up high. But it seems like, at least for this introductory part, we're doing the opposite. We're having the instrumental really focus on those treble tones, and then we're having the backing vocal for the main vocal cover the bass tonalities. But we are bringing in the bass now. Ooh, okay. Oh, okay. That right there, I think this is a chorus. That was a chorus transition, but that was... I was expecting some sort of impact or something, but that was super smooth. Oh, okay. Hmm, okay. Okay, so I really like the breathiness we're putting into the vocals. And it, it's very interesting because we're playing more into the bass. Um, I, I feel like it's very a, a very odd <laughs> mix. And I don't mean that in a bad way. It's just very unconventional in terms of how the vocal layering is done with the this type of instrumental because oh, with this type of vocal layering you might hear it in more of an intense moment but having this vocal layering in a very slow paced song at least in my experience is pretty unusual especially when we have those you know those little treble arpeggiated notes uh covering our our high parts of the mix I, I will say it's a lot more bassy in this part. We don't have those treble tones. Mm. <laughs> nice. So we have those little exhales, but they're dynamic. So the first one hit my right ear, the second one hit my left ear. Okay. I have to say, I, I am really enjoying the use of guitar here. The guitar is a very, it's pretty subtle. And, uh, you know, it's very possible that it's just a very well emulated guitar from a, from a synth. So it, it could just be a digital synth. And that's very likely as well. But uh, I do believe it is a guitar effect at the very least. Um, and it, it's a very, very well implemented here. You know, it really covers those bass tones. Um, it, it kind of bridges the gap between the bassier tonalities and the mid-tone where the voice is. Mm. Oh. Nice. On, on the transition there, unlike before, we introduced a treble run to kind of tease and reference those treble tonalities we had towards the introduction um, because we took those away and I believe we took those away to emphasize the higher vocals because as the vocals came up in pitch uh, you know we didn't want to make those clash or conflict with the treble based to uh, the treble based instrumentation that we had uh, in the introduction of the song so the instrumental covered the bass, and now we're going to, you know, the pretty standard Renzo, you know, bass instrumental with the vocal shooting up high and him just showing off what he can do with his voice. Um, and I, I will say, you know, I'm always very harsh when it comes to vocal effects and like a, a suppression on vocals or digitization and whatever. I, but I will say uh, this is pretty solid. I, I actually I don't feel like the vocals are ever being obstructed. I, I feel like the vocals are always just 
being implemented into the song and, and you know obviously on some of the like backing vocals or the layered vocals you can tell that, that they're a bit suppressed but i think that's fine because they're functionally uh, instrumentation almost you know it, they're functionally there to back up the main vocal and the main vocal is clear and you can hear what he's doing with his voice and it's super super fun so i i'm really enjoying this so far I am hoping for like some sort of switch up. Oh, well, right when I say that, it seems like we're getting a switch up. <laughs> Not exactly a switch up, but it, we're, we're doing apart from before and we're referencing that, but it sounds like we might be leading that into a switch up. Oh, okay. I don't really like the megaphone effect, but this is a cool part. Oh, okay. Okay, okay. So instead of doing a switch up segment, it seems like we we just put a spin on our inter or on our interjectory uh, segment. You know, between the chorus. You know, it, it, we did a spin on that instead of doing like a complete switch up new segment to kind of throw things off for a minute. Um, but this, this, that was fine. That was fine. I, I will say, you know, the vocal effects there weren't like my favorites, but I, I don't think the purpose of that segment was to show off the vocals. The purpose was to kind of catch the listener off guard and then reel them back into the chorus. So I think that was fine. That was well executed. All right. Okay, interesting. So uh, w instead of uh, doing like a, a large change to the mix, we ch we're just repeating the chorus and then we're adding in another track. That's um, I'm not sure exactly what that is. <laughs> I can't tell if that's like a uh, very highly edited vocals that are just kind of suppressed and kept into the instrumentation, or if that's like a guitar or a synth. Oh, those are vocals. Okay. Yeah, okay. So that new track that we introduced, that was vocals with like a megaphone effect and suppression and super quiet in the mix. That's what those are. Okay. Oh. Okay, big bass pulse. Oh, oh we ended on the bass pulse. I actually was not expecting that. Okay. Honestly, that was super solid. I, I think that was very really solid. Uh, the thing with Ren, Ren's songs, Ren Soto's songs, is that they're very much meant to be like, you know, that car radio kind of song. The song that you kind of just put back, you put on in the background. You can sing along to it, but you can easily divert your attention from it, come back to it, and you can always just kind of catch on to it, get in the groove of things, and then freely do whatever you want while that's just on in the background, right? Which is an aesthetic. It's an aesthetic that he shoots for and he does it well. He does it he does his he executes his goal very well. He gets a catchy pop-esque song that's able to just get stuck in your head and then, you know, it's just something you can put on in the background or listen in the car while you're driving, you know. I I think uh while that isn't my personal preference with a lot of music i can very much respect it because you know he's got a goal and he executes that goal so overall and you know it wasn't like there was a lack of variation in the song because he adds in like you know those little changes to segments that we get well, like for example the slowdown here oh not the slowdown speed up <laughs> Right, so uh, we add in these little switches. I don't know why I said slow down. <laughs> he sped up this part. Um, and it, it's just, you know, it adds in those little interjections that keep things fresh and keep things varied uh, without, you know, having a major change to his composition, right? Because, uh, I mean, overall, the chorus, 
I, I feel like the chorus of the song was the most present part. You know, I, I think it was the most frequent segment that we got, um, which isn't really too common. Usually you'd have like, you know, you usually have a lot of like build up and verses and stuff, but the chorus makes up most of the song. And that's very much the intention because you want it to just the song at least wants it to be just catchy and just get stuck in your head get like an earworm for it and i think that's a this is a perfect song for that so overall um massive props to ren and massive props to the music team as well who helped him with this uh this was really cool i actually really really enjoyed that um you know obviously with my personal preference in music i i always want to hear more of like what if Ren did some crazy runs or showed off his range or showed off how intricate his vocal control could be? But that isn't necessarily the type of music Ren is shooting for here. And I, I can respect that because he has his niche and he does it very well. And, you know, I say niche, but it's really just his genre, his goal, his goal with creating his original song. And he executes that goal super well. And I can respect that. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. Ren is a super impressive vocalist. I actually really, really enjoy his voice. It's a very well suited. It's very well suited to the, like the pop sort of earworm esque songs, you know, almost like a boy band uh, voice. Um, but he, he does the pop genre very well. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. As always, feel free to recommend more things for me to check out in the comments below. Aside from that, I will see you all next time, and if you like the reaction, feel free to subscribe to see more. Thank you very much for watching.